Picture this for a second. You're on a date with an attractive girl. You spend about two hours getting to know each other. And so far, everything seems to be going well. When all of a sudden, the waitress shows up. And she's here to ask you a very simple question. Will this be together or separate? <laughs> Look at her goofy smile. <laughs> and just like that, there's now a new tension in the air. All of a sudden, it feels like you two have come to a weird fork in the road, as they say. Who, oh who, is going to pay for the meal? Is it the man because traditionally the man pays for dinner? Is it the woman because feminism? Do they split the check because equality? While all these thoughts are running through your head, here's what's really happening in the surface. She's probably looking off to the side, pretending like she didn't see the check. Whole time, you're staring dead in her fucking face to see if she gives you eye contact while simultaneously getting pissed off that she's not even pretending to reach for her purse. Or maybe she's the one giving you the death stare. Who knows? Point is, there's now a weird tension in the room. And what I'm going to do today is help you resolve this issue. First things first, let me answer the question. The man always pays for the date. But there is a catch. And coincidentally, the catch is that there should be a catch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me explain myself here. There's absolutely nothing wrong with paying for the first date as a man. However, paying for a date is a form of compliance, and you cannot afford to give your compliance away for free. She must be aware, on some level, that you're not just paying for the date because you're the guy and she's the girl and that's what's supposed to happen, but You're paying for the date because you have decided to pay for the date for a specific reason. And your reason must be justifiable to both you and her. The difference between simping and pimping is just that, remembering to ask for compliance in return. Or at the very least, like in this case, to let her know that certain requirements have been met by her for you to take that action. So when the check shows up and you genuinely had fun on the date, you can say, don't worry, it's all on me today. It's fine. I got it. You're a cool chick. I genuinely enjoyed spending time with you. So this is all on me, my treat. And then to make your compliance, aka paying for the dinner, even more special, you can add, to be honest, I didn't think I'd have to be paying for this tonight. I thought you would be so boring and just bore me out of my mind. So the fact that I feel compelled to pay right now is actually a pretty good sign. You're a lot cooler than I thought you'd be. You can even add, and I often do, if I didn't enjoy myself like I did, I would have honestly made you pay for the date, miss. Remember to be playful while you say that, okay? Now let's say you didn't enjoy your time on a date. What do you do? Remember. Rule number one still remains. You still pay for the date regardless. But you do this when the check comes. You pull out a coin from your pocket and you say, I'm heads, you're tails. If you win, I pay for the meal and you get the tips. If I win, we split the check 50-50 and I get the tips. And she's going to say, okay. Why? Because the deal is designed to be lopsided against you and her benefit. Whether you win or lose that coin toss, she wins regardless. And it's designed that way. You're paying more money no matter what happens. But here's the kicker though. Whether you win or you lose, you pay everything anyway. If you lose a coin toss, you say, ah, oh, God damn it. Uh, might as well pay for everything. It is what it is. I suck. I lost. If you win the coin toss, you say, ha ha, mop the floor with your ass. I'll just get everything. The mill and the tips. I don't need you tainting my winner money with your loser money. And boom, you've not only paid for the meal, but you've kept your respect up at the same time. Now, feel free to use any game you want. It doesn't have to be a coin toss. Like, pull up a chessboard if you want, bro. I don't give a shit. The game itself doesn't matter, but it does need to be a game of sorts. One, because of the playful competition factor to it. But two, more importantly, it's something you can both participate in. I remember years ago, I actually asked a girl to give me five push-ups if she wanted me to pay for dinner. One of the dumbest, most socially uncalibrated things I have ever done. And why was it dumb? Because if you think about it, technically, I was obeying that first law. I was asking for some kind of compliance in return for mine. But not only was I doing it in a condescending way, I was also breaking the fourth wall of exposing how transactional relationships are. Big no-no. So a few dates later, I adjusted my push-up plan. This time, instead of asking the girl to give me push-ups directly, I told her if she could do half as many as me... I would pay for the dinner. So she did as many push-ups as she could, and then I followed up, and the goal was I had to do twice as many as she did. And then it became a whole thing. The entire joint and all the weight staff were in on it. It was pretty fun. Oh, and if you're wondering, I lost. <laughs>